So Tyler, in advertising, what makes engagement so valuable? Um, I think it's important to define what engagement means, particularly in the digital realm. And, and to us at Exponential, at least where I work, we define engagement as the deliberate act of spending time with a brand story by the consumer. Um, and why that matters is a couple of reasons at the moment. One, when we're talking about the online world, we're talking about a realm in which the user often has complete control over what they consume, when they consume it, how they do so. They can avoid advertising, they can avoid these messages. So the act of actually opting in to consume content that's delivered by a consumer is really, really, really critical. It helps the brand understand who's interested and who isn't, yeah. um, which audiences may be passive and the way that they may passively consume a pre-roll or an outdoor billboard, as quite distinct from those who actually take the time to opt in and spend time with brand stories and brand assets. And there's some important outgrowths of that as well. Um, brand health is impacted, the likelihood to purchase consideration is impacted as well. As any marketer will tell you, time spent between consumer and brand is beneficial. It circumvents safety issues such as fraud um, and bot traffic and these sorts of other things that are plaguing the industry. And ultimately it's measurable. That's the really big one. We're able to understand who's interested in our content, which particular parts of the content they're interested in, and how that impacts the brand and campaign overall. This issue of audience control, mm. how do you do that now? Because you quite rightly say the, it's shifted has a, to yep. the consumer that more than ever, and it's, it's going to get even more intense, mm -hmm. they, they won't be controlled. Yep. They will consume things, what they want to at their particular time. So how can you regain some of that control as well? Yeah, you describe it well. I think, I think this is the most profound change in media maybe ever, yep. or at least since the birth of the printing press. The audience is, is the king now. The audience, it's a complete revolution. Um, and we need to recognise that and still we, until we start building the kind of advertising experiences that reflect this truth, we're going to be playing catch up all the time. So one of the most important, there's two ways we so, get so around. So the important, don't fight it. Don't fight it. Understand yep. it's here to stay and we were a bit, in media, we were a bit arrogant. Yep. Previous generation saying, you will watch what we want you to watch yep. at the time we want you Absolutely. to watch. Absolutely. And our consumers are basically giving you the bird. Yeah, it's completely decentralised. And it's not it's not simply that that appointment viewing idea is, is degrading. It's also the fact that the consumers themselves are their own media channels a lot of the time as yep. well. They're producing quality content because they have the creative tools yeah. to do so. So a couple of things we think really matter. Um, the first one is to build experiences where the user can actually actively opt in to consume it so they can decide to do that. Now they can do that via either clicking on or expanding something but a deliberate action that facilitates that. And the other really important one that we don't spend enough time thinking about is the buying models that are attached to these. So rather than go for a reach game where it's CPM in digital um, or it's cost per click or something like that, we think a cost per engagement really matters. So charge the brand only for the people who actively elect to spend time with that brand story. And this can all be inbuilt to in online advertising quite easily. Yeah, and that again changes the revenue paradigm of yep. so many businesses. Absolutely. Um, you dubbed this the year of creative. Mm. So we now have to have to earn the attention of the consumer yep. by thinking outside the square. Isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think the last few years in, in media, particularly digital media, have been dominated by fixation on data and understanding yeah. at depth who the audience is, what their motivations are, when they're in market, how to remarket to them, these sorts of things. Which and, is valuable. Which is valuable, yeah. but it's only valuable if it's married to a story. That's what advertising is. It's persuasion, it's about delivering a story. And that's really been put in the back seat as we obsess over data and we're, we're ad tech. It's yeah. about technology, that's been the, the story. But I think we're starting to wake up to the fact that it's not enough to know who these people are. We still have to deliver them a persuasive story to have them purchase our brand. That is a really good point, isn't it? Because, and then it follows, if you're creative enough to get their attention, it will flow through to the data and the analysis and improve it all. But if yep. you've got terrible creative, then your data's going to be terrible too. Nothing can save you. Um, yeah, it's really true. So we need to get back to understanding that, that technology is not simply, a, or advertising technology is not simply about technology. It's still about yeah. advertising, ad yeah. tech. Advertising comes first and that's about persuasion. Yeah, absolutely. Tyler, good to meet you. You too, thanks so much.